First on 13 today, the state of Iowa has wrapped up its case against Christian Rivera, the man accused of killing Molly Tibbetts. Prosecutors started out their last day of questioning with the lead agent in the investigation and the other suspects they looked at in this case. 20 year old Tibbetts disappeared when she was jogging in her hometown of Brooklyn, July 2018. Her body was found a month later in a cornfield just about 10 miles away. Investigators say it was Christian Rivera who led them to Tibbetts body and confessed to putting her there. WHO 13's Kaylin Thompson has been listening into the courtroom all day. She joins us live now from Davenport with the latest. Yeah, good afternoon, Dan. Four more people took the stand today, including the DCI agent who oversaw the investigation. And he answered many questions from both sides about the different suspects and evidence in the case. Who provided you that information prior to you seeing her in the cornfield? Christian Rivera did. Any of the other men that you interviewed at all give you that type of information? No. One person in this case, is that right? That's correct, yes. That person is the man seated here to my right, Christian Rivera. Would you agree? Yes. Christian Bahena Rivera was identified as a suspect by investigators after the car he drove appeared on surveillance footage. The defense cross-examined Agent Valletta with questions about investigators' 11-hour interview with Rivera, who was able to interview him, and how the language barrier created some challenges. They countered the state's point about the DNA evidence in Behena's car with this. The evidence that you have that Christian Behena actually killed Molly Tibbetts came from his mouth, right? Um, well, there's physical evidence too, yes. That puts the knife in his hand? That puts her blood and DNA in his trunk of his car. That puts her in the trunk, agreed? Yes. Does it put him stabbing her? Uh, no. Okay, that's all I have. We also heard from an FBI cellular expert who was able to talk about how cell phone data from Molly Tibbetts' phone was able to help track them where she was and when she was there on the night of her run when she did disappear. Now, the state's medical examiner, as well as a forensic anthropologist, spoke about their work as well. A lot to unpack here. Dan, we'll have more at 5. Kaylin Thompson reporting live in Davenport. We'll look forward to your further reports this evening.